I love an all-white kitchen. But the way I mixed it up was sheens. I did a soft gloss on most of my cabinetry and then on the focal areas, like my cooktop area and a separate island, I used a high gloss white. So it's really crisp and the light catches it and it looks really modern and fresh. For countertops, I kept it again, very simple. Everything's white with a fleck of gray and I have multiple countertop surfaces so I kept it very, very consistent. Now, when you are renovating, don't worry if you don't end up with a lot of upper cabinets. In fact, I actually don't like them that much because pot drawers really do what those upper cabinets used to do. Places for your dishes, everything else, and they're all at counter height, which is super. Now, when you're also thinking about flooring, I really love a hardwood floor. Really versatile floor is a matte finish and a wire brush, and that makes it indestructible for a busy family and for people that have pets like me. Now, if you can, try always to incorporate a beverage center. It's really nice to separate the wine or the coffee area in the morning, particularly when it's a busy family. And if you can, try and grab a little space for a separate pantry. Super important for all the potatoes and the canned goods. This space originally was going to be a dining room, but it made much more sense as we progressed in our renovation to make it into a family room. So some things that are important in a family room is comfy seating. So I selected a nice large size sectional and I used a velvet fabric, which is really hardy and a mushroom color, which again will hide some stains because a lot of family living is going to happen here. I added some club chairs and a smoky leather tone and I really wanted to play to my environment, which anyone can do. And in my case, I've got a lovely view of the escarpment and I can enjoy it year round. She feels like she's living in a tree house, yes. and that's totally what it looks like. It's very cool. So if you want to take a closer look at Jackie's lovely living room and the kitchen, check out our 360 video on our Facebook page. You can zoom all over the place. You can check out the view. You can get the details, uh, you know, what's going on in every room, up, down, and everywhere else, which we think is pretty cool. I love that. You really get a good sense of how you, you use the space. and. Sometimes you see a flat picture of something and you can't really tell and it, when you can see everything, you mm -hmm. get a good sense of the room. Well, you know when you use your iPad a lot, sometimes I actually have a print magazine, I, I actually put my finger on it to try and close in on something. Yes. So that, it's nice to be able to have that for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, the other thing I noticed in your place is that there is a lot of inspiration from what's happening outside. Yes. Yes. And you wanted to stay true to your environment. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, you've got beautiful trees all over you, all over the place. So we're going to talk about how you can get inspired by nature. Absolutely. And I think it's a really important decor element that you can put with traditional furnishings, um, yeah. modern furnishings. It's lovely to add those little bits of touches of natural. So I think that I wanted to start with a great story that had a lot, which uh, if we're thinking about living rooms, maybe a sunroom, a lanai, if you have a place out of country, yeah. um, things like materials like from Ikea, like rattan, mm -hmm. uh, you've got walnut, you've got banana, you've got cocoa leaf, you've got rattan, um, wicker. There's so many natural elements, jute, rug, all of these pieces play to nature. The tones are really neutral. You can mix colors with them. Cottons and linens play very well. And look at these paper twigs. I mean, aren't these amazing? These Again, paper. they're made out of paper. And you can see tucking that in a vase on a hall uh, console table really gives you that feeling of nature. Yes. And it doesn't impede on the color scheme that you have. That's what's so great about working with nature. It also adds some warmth, I find. Absolutely, yeah, most definitely. So it's an easy way to do it. So if we move into the kitchen and want to add some of those natural elements, then let's head over to Crate and Barrel and see what they've got there. And you can see that they've got everything from capis, placemats, you've got the jute, the natural ones and leaf patterns. You can see that. It's just, it's a beautiful tray, even if you put leaves and cheese so on nice. it. It's just so, such fun. Yes. Trivets, mm -hmm. but these could also be placemats. Yeah. Put your dishes on it. Love the little cork trivet. Again, oh, everything's nice. natural. Here's something that's really fun. I love these little slate blocks, and with a bit of chalk, you can use them as little name place card holders. I think it's really fun and oh, adds a nice. Lovely. And black, of course, is like a neutral, and particularly yes. in a medium like slate. Right. Something else. So you can reuse these again and again, you got uh, it. which is lovely, but it, it's instant addition of that very natural idea. Mm -hmm. And acacia wood is really popular. Again, coasters 
pepper mills. What kind of wood is that? It's acacia wood. Oh, okay. And it's really natural. It's easy. It kind of looks like walnut. has the same kind yeah, of tone. Does. But again, it works well if you intersperse it with, uh, with your other pieces in your kitchen, whether okay. they're high glosses. Geodes, very natural, beautiful Huge way to add right color. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've always been big, but people are very much into the stones right yes. now, the crystals, the healing powers. A lot of people want this in their decor these days. Very much. And they add that little splash of color, a little they bit of are. glitz. This is really fun. I love this piece. This is, it's, it's really kind of a, it looks like a vintage piece, but it's concrete. And yeah. it's, it's a little holder that holds the vessel that you can have red wine or white, white wine, and it'll be so you can have it either room temp, chilled, oh or, or warm, which is great. That's a decanter. Isn't that lovely? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Live edge pieces are great, yeah. just there, leaning against your backsplash in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. I love, listen, I live in wine country now, so I can really recycle a lot of my wine bottles and make them into <laughs> candles like this. I think this is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, what a smart idea. It's really clever. I didn't even realize that is the bottom of a wine bottle. That's beautiful. And I, I particularly love this. This is a trough that originally was used to, to make bread dough. Wow. And it's a great Look piece you could put on your island. You could put it by your fireplace. You could yep. fill it with natural eucalyptus or big stalks of these cinnamon or uh, even just birch logs. It's such a beautiful piece that would just add to even a modern interior. I think that this is so cool. I do um, love and it. you say that this is real cinnamon, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Isn't it great? Stir that in your hot chocolate. <laughs> okay, just really quickly, we also have this. So we've Isn't talked great? a lot about decor today. If you want to add that really rustic element into your decor, this is such a beautiful way to do it. Oh, Gorgeous a console decoration. table, just wrap it around some candles, yes. and you've got an instant vibe that's really natural and beautiful. Very nice. Okay, Jackie, I know you also shopped at Accents for Living Furniture and Design as well. You've got great tips when it comes to bringing a little bit of that natural touch into our decor, so thank you for that.